absolutely true, which is why it is, I've said this on my lives, this is the safest it's ever been in the history of mankind. To be a witch, to be an energy worker, to be a uh, healer, to step into our God-given gifts. Yes, I said God-given gifts. Because in the past, when we've been healers, when we've been witches, when we've been shamans, we've been medicine women, we've done all this healing work. This is not the first lifetime we're doing this. Guess what happened? We were buried alive. We were burnt at the stake. We were drowned. We were killed. I mean, we went through hell. And so, yes, they couldn't just say thank you like I did and like you can, right? Now, being called a witch is considered a compliment. Thank God. But back then, no, we paid with our, with our life, which is why a lot of us are very afraid to step into those gifts in this lifetime because why the hell would you want to do that if you were buried alive or burnt at the stake? So your soul has memory of those lives and the traumas that you've experienced, which is what prevents you from truly stepping into your gifts. Who needed to hear that today? So understand that if this is resonating, if you're an empath, you're a natural healer, people come to you, you know, Mm, more than likely, you know, yeah, you're one of us, you're one of me, you're my kind of people. Welcome, welcome home. It's safe to step into your gifts. And it's needed. It's so needed. Every one of us needs to do our own work first. Because you cannot pour from an empty cup, you cannot heal from a wounded place. Of course, we're not perfectly, you know, healed. We're always work in progress. But it's important that we do our own healing and our own work as we step and try to help others, as we step and try to heal others. It's safe to be you. It's needed. Welcome.